Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria. Um, last time we found Grimoire. We're about to go over to the village, but first we have a scene and a boss. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amenoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? Because there were dolls. A shop in Isolt was selling Amenoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. Well, you whisper showing harder. up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal. You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation <laughs> from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. I would definitely then buy Grimoire before I would buy a product. Me? Really? Oh yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. <laughs> mounted? No, no. Come on, Bianfu. You have been trying to get oh, mounted by people for the no whole game. Fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That seems like an, a lot of effort. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it. Just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. <laughs> you're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier exactly, just more of a. You can stand up to her, she's not. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. All right, here we go. Are we ready for this? So winged, demi-human, and fiend. I don't know why a searing edge is there, but I did. So I need. Oh wait, I also need to know what elemental it has. Weak to fire. Strong to ice and earth. So winged, not ice and earth. Am I human? I don't think I have fiend. I think we have repeatedly determined that she does not yet have fiend. But I can use a fire. And then... No, that's earth. Here we go. Arise, 
Now we are doing really well so far. That makes me actually nervous. Because that means they may have a very strong phase two. Like either I'm awesome or this fight is geared around what's going to be later. Okay, that hurts a lot if it hits you. Very hard to stun though. He went down. What the hell? I was actually blocking. What? Okay, I was sure right about phase two being full RT. What the hell is hitting me? I was gonna say, Rogue may not survive, I but we were done for. that thing hit does damage so fast that I need to get it down. So, I'm sorry, Rogue Row. Land of skill which is final damage. Oh, hey! It's a secret cave! You're going deeper into the cave. That's kind of interesting. That they just kind of hit a secret cave right there. Um, I, I like little moments like that. They make me very happy. Because it, it just makes you feel like your um, thoroughness is rewarded. I think there may be something up here. Yep. Not a secret cave, though. Let's go ahead and use this. All right, let's mosey. I got scared. <laughs> that thing made its icy. Aria village. To the inn, one and all. Woo, it's a baby. <laughs> My Y button seems slightly... I think I must have spilled Dr. Pepper or something. 
because I tried to use Y for a second there, and then the good news is I can kind of avoid having to press any button too often in this game. Alright. Little, like, super minor hidden um, cave. Anything over here? Signs, unfortunately, point to no. Oh, it looks like there is a small one of these. All right. So I don't see the other two treasure chests there somewhere on this map, but that's okay. What is this? Yeah, it looks like there's something going up over here. Is it back here? No. Secret cave. I pay attention to the map. All right. See, pages of the map is good. It's, I got a garish pink shirt. I like the word garish. Garish is just one of a. I don't know why. I think it. I think it reminds me of um. Um, Gar from Naruto, and I was never a big Naruto fan to be honest, but I don't dislike it either. So just, just the word garish. It just it just it strikes me as antithetical and standoffish. Which I can I can support. Characters that home of old beliefs. Oh wow, it won't let me leave now. It's like you are in here. Um, characters that don't necessarily need popular approval always impress me because I'm a people pleaser and I, I won't say I hate that about myself, but I've definitely gotten walked on. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. The Despite darkness. That, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. <laughs> well, is she wrong? Spoiler alert, she is not. I'm not sure I would call this laid back. I would call it more abandoned. Oh, there is a guy over here, actually. I said to go to the inn, first of all, but I'm way over here. Oh, it's expected if it was like this. I expected life bottles. You travelers? What I should say, the big building of the sea is it. The, uh, I mean, obviously, the inn is where I go to last. Alright, interesting. There's a treasure chest in the exact middle of town. Makes me feel a little bit scuzzy for taking it. Like, obviously, that belongs to someone, but I still took it. It's not as bad if I acknowledge that I'm being an asshole, right? That's always what I've kind of uh, bothered. I remember I actually used to do this. It would annoy people so much in Let's Plays um, where I wouldn't take treasure chests that were like inside of villages because I'm like, no, that belongs to somebody. They're like, but there's a cool item inside. I'm like, no. But there's a treasure chest. No. You're sniffing around my mom. Can you make matters worse? Why would they be sniffing around your mom? Is your mom stank? Huh. I was just up here and there was nothing here. Oh wow, look at you, you little... I can't deal with this anymore! What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um... Not so, really. I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some Maiden Bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish... into chocolate gels? 
Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gel's gumminess made for an exquisitely <laughs> bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? It's not That's selling. exactly my problem! I outdid myself! Now I need to make my gel's world debut as amazing as they are! So I thought up the ultimate plan. I'm very concerned. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. What the hell? No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling well, my chocolate needle gels you. at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever ridiculous. heard. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner and all I had to do was go 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 and everyone would smile and You actually remember me. that? Holy crap, I don't how good is your memory? I'm the kind of grown up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Okay, that's actually amazing. They they took the classic you found a gel inside a toilet um, and the discussion of whether or not you could use it and they they took cuz that's been in, like so many tales games over the years. And then they expanded upon it in a really, really interesting and quirky way. I actually super approve of that. Well done, game designers. Alright. What do you blokes say? Enjoying our traditions for a bit of security? And listen to yourself. What are traditions if you're not going to enjoy them? Bad. No day I've come home empty handed. I mean, you just cast a couple of nests and got back with a full book. How could this be happening? Okay, here's that. There's still apparently three treasure chests. Like, I don't need to find every treasure chest, and I don't. I'm not going to be upset if I can't. But it's odd that there's three chests in this village. I haven't looked everywhere, but I've looked in a lot of the village so far, and I've only found the one in the middle. There's probably one down here. Oh, and there may be one up here as well. There is a segment that goes up here. Okay, yep, there's one. still be two more somewhere. Anything back here? Yep. Okay, so that only leaves one I haven't found. That looks way better. I'd just been through so much of the village already and only found one of the four chests, and I was like, what is going on? What's going on? Alright, so let's head into the inn. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. One room for all six of all us? Alright, time to start Seven deciphering of us? this Eight of us? Scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh... That I'd be quiet and No, what did you call me? It's headmistress. You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. Alright. I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! <laughs> we'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Oh, good lord. That's a lot of hecky-doos. 
<laughs> Maximum hecky do ship. How do I get back there? I can plainly see that there's stuff back there. Do you plan on just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple. The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenoch's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Hi. Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of his salt anymore. Our faith in Amenoch has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. That's actually gonna haunt Velva a little bit, because of course she's going to remember the real Lofi set. Although again, I, I am I'm still a bit surprised that it hasn't come up with the fact that he had the seven years curse. Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses have guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And That's there's still a priestess today? Of course! And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our well, it beliefs. Sounds like I'm going to be going Why up haven't Teresa I seen again? this priest as she's talking about? I wonder if I could convince anyone that I was sent by... It's actually really weird and interesting that they confuse Grimoire for um, their person if their person is male. Like, no wonder that that shop isn't selling because everyone's like, uh, no, obviously that's wrong. I kind of figured, dude, these would be talking to all these blokers. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. Yeah, she like wasn't some role so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. That's super short. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? I think Teresa is the violent demon. You. Could there have been a Probably demon not. blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but whatever it is, if it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you, as I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, that's not super unethical or even vaguely unethical. That's just being like, hey, yeah, uh, I would rat. You know, it's not like she's unleashing the demon in order to cause a distraction. She's just taking use of the fact that it's there. Although I would not be surprised if Teresa had... Because we know that they do keep pet demons underneath the Abbey. So to unleash a demon in order to use that as a... Um, like, justification for forcing a conversion to go in and, and extinguish the demon that they released. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. I suck at foreign oh? languages. Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially <laughs> the worst. Okay, that's, uh, I actually took Latin back in the day, and I, I very much can get behind that sentiment of, <laughs> old dead people are the worst. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. 
Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough, but straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think oh, they need it for need some it for other reason. purpose? Shrug. Freaking Mogulu. Shrug. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. <laughs> Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says Sa Popo Mucho Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying the parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. So the fruit does fall far from the tree? I doubt those have much to do with the nomi not. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like... San San? Pocho Pocho? Pocho Musan? Pocho Musan? Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now, where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. This language is stupid and weird. Hocho Muson. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm... It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. Wait, what? It's not about Enominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Enominat's a demon. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall I we go check on them? Being that we just saw them making progress. But lovely are we leaving them alone and then we just arbitrarily decide, okay, we left you alone long enough. <laughs> like, it's not like anyone came to let us know, hey, we found something. Well, any results? Yes. Well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best oh, God teacher. Dang it. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Huh? Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Interesting, what does the last head do? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. The Nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The Nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? So that's why they're against the other ones. Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far, we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I 
take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. But now we know the lyrics, Likely everyone can help. so. But if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book. No matter how long I mean, it we takes. could take back the shrine while we're waiting. Hmm. What the Abbey's up to, is it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. Okay. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. So does that mean hmm. that Velvet is an extension of a Nomenot? What about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans. Right. Earth, water, wind, and, and fire. And four of them unite. They but they defeat. also call Enominot an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominot and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Therians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominot will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominot, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominot's heads. Aren't so you a speak. Therian, though? But where do we even start looking for them? Remember, the song states that the Therians and Enominot's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed Enominot, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth pulse points. Okay, but points? Therians can move around. The place is where They're the power beings. of Earth pulses is concentrated. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Wait, are you trying to say that thing's Aetherian? And yet, it would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. Yeah, that was keeping that thing in place. That's right. Do you suppose that was also a Therian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? So have we already defeated two of them? Should we go to Logress and check? Actually, we, do we defeat that thing underneath? I don't think we... I don't remember if we did. We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. Well, we're just gonna be waiting here regardless. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. We also have to liberate the other Empyreans. Mm. Something bothering you, Grim? This line, the one about Therians being forever reborn. Uh, I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest. Is the demon showing up? I wouldn't be surprised. The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? How can you see that? There's no way you can see the Temples compass from where you are. Temples ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse point? There's lots of Earth Pulse points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance... Shouldn't we go check it Plus, out? Plus, it would help us um, set Better back the Abbey. Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Laffy said is sensing. Hmm. Just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? Another one would show up somewhere. Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. We have to kill all seven of them at once. Well, we did. We do have the uh, bug, so we possibly could just collect them. Got to catch them all. All right. And with that, we'll go ahead and end this episode. Next time, we head to the temple and we take down a Therian. Wow, it got brighter out here. Not entirely sure why, but cool. I'm glad. See you next time, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in.